Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today on this Unturned tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create your very own airport. Now, this was suggested by one of you guys, and so if you guys have uh, anything you want me to make a video about, please suggest it and I will do it. So, I've just got a basic airport map, and I will just go into this. Okay, so let's say our airport will be right around here and that'll be that okay so one of the first things you want for your airport is there's actually if you go to level and then objects there's actually an airport it's uh, airport number one and it's actually the small little building here so what this building is actually for is it actually has airport on it it's supposed to be sort of like the check-in center or the entrance to the airport so, I don't know, I guess this is technically the place where they might have security guards and stuff, but as you can see, it's not very large, so, you know, you can't really do much with it besides just having maybe a couple benches, maybe some luggage and stuff in there. But anyway, so yeah, that's probably one of the best uh, beginnings for your airport. Start with one of those. Now, there's also an airport tower. If you search airport, it'll come up with both those. Um, in real life, what this airport tower is used for is to track where airports are, uh, where airplanes are, and to make sure they don't collide and do stuff like that. So pretty much all this has to be is somewhere in the vicinity of the airport. It doesn't have to be super precise. Like, it doesn't have to be right next to it or something. But what I will do, uh, sort of a shortcut I've found, is that if you put the buildings right up next to each other so they're overlapping, if you want to make sure that the edges line up nicely, you can just put them right next to each other, get them to where they're pretty much overlapping, close enough to where it's hard to tell, and then you can just move it as far away as you want. And this way, when we look at it from this angle, we don't really have to look at it from this angle because we know they are right next to each other, as long as you use those arrows. Okay, so besides this, um, you could put something like a fence surrounding your airport oops I accidentally placed it down when I pressed E uh, fence probably I think it's metal one yeah that one will work or you could do metal two if you want a little bit of a higher fence so yeah what you can do is you can generally like surround your airport with the fence so like trespassers can't get in and you know you can do basic copy paste stuff select a bunch of them copy paste those let's actually line this up get this looking decent okay and you probably if you want to do this airport right you probably want to leave a lot of room uh, since they now added airplanes and flying mechanics for those things, you're going to want a lot of room for takeoff. I mean, this is probably, an, this is definitely enough, but it's probably not too much. It'll probably take, let's see, if you start flying from here, and it'll probably take you probably to about here to take off. So, I mean, you've got a little extra room for taking off. And taking off in the new mechanics is probably one of the hardest parts uh it takes the most room and it takes the most time so you uh, it's a little harder landing is pretty easy pretty much all you have to do to land properly is get your wheels on the ground that's pretty much it So we got a general runway, it's sort of fenced in, I mean, you, you can obviously finish that. So, a couple other uh, main pieces of an airport is uh, where they store the planes, and that would be a hangar. So there are currently two hangars, um, hangar 1 and hangar 2. The big difference between them is size. Hangar 1 is massive, really, really large. Uh, hangar 2 is quite a bit smaller 
But, I mean, you, there's still no plane that you couldn't fit inside this Hangar 1. But, I mean, we'll, we'll stick with Hangar 2 for now. Or, I'm getting them mixed up. But, yeah, we'll stick with the larger one for now. So, with your airport, you know, you probably want to have a Hangar probably at one end. And near that hangar, you probably want to have some sort of tank for gas. Um, you could have either the gas station, uh, shoot, fuel tank, that's what I want. You could either have the gas station spigots or these fuel tanks, which actually look a little better. It would be kind of weird to have just a gas station spigot thing out here in the middle of the nowhere. So you definitely want to have some of those because as people land, you know, they're going to have to refuel and they're definitely going to need those for that. Let's scoot over a little bit. To even it up. Okay, so this is just one option. I mean, th this is pretty much all the basic parts. You've got like the entrance building, you got the airport tower, you've got the hangar, you've got some sort of fuel. Now, uh, optional things you can have is you can have a helipad. Now that they've added helipads, you know, there's you can add those as well. So we've got, you know, they're pretty much just like this. You could add them somewhere over here as well. Obviously, they don't need a landing pad, uh, a huge runway. So you can pretty much just stick these wherever. So besides that, another optional thing is uh, a police tower. Or I think, no, I think they're just called military towers. Tower, I'll just search tower. military tower and there's three types so if, if you're like trying to make this more of a military um, sort of place you could add this type of military tower this is actually pretty nice you could probably replace this um, airport tower because they look about the same so yeah you could definitely add these towers I'll get rid of that one I'll just keep the regular airport tower but I will add these at like the entrance, let's say, you know, sort of protect, keep people from getting in. And let's move that over. There we go. Obviously, I'm not putting that much detail in. But, you know, we'll put these. You could also have these uh, over here, you know, throughout the, uh, that's not what I meant to do, throughout the airport. you know just sort of guarding in general so actually probably better place would be over here so yeah um another optional thing uh there's actually an alternate way to make a runway besides just having flat ground this flat ground will work if you wanted to make it more decorative you could actually go to materials we'll lower the size down a bit and you can actually put road down as the ground for this so that's one way to make it look a little nicer. Um, another way to do this, see that looks pretty good. Obviously I'm not getting it pretty straight, but that looks pretty nice as well. Another way to make a well-defined runway is by actually just using roads. So um, if you go to environment and roads, uh, you probably want to use this one. Uh, it's just a normal road, no lines in it or anything. And you want to start it probably dead center of the hangar, and you'd want it to end dead center at the end. And when you bake this, I guess it's gonna it's pretty wide automatically. But the nice thing about it is you can actually customize it. If you got a really thin runway, you can make the width like 10, you know. And when you bake it again, it'll be a lot smaller. You can also make it wider. I don't know how wide you can make this. Let's see what 30 is like yeah so looks like you can make this really wide how about 100 I've never tried this before actually dang so yeah that's also a good option uh, makes a pretty nice runway the nice thing about these is they're perfectly flat they are raised a little bit but that really uh, it's not really a problem as long as you line it up well actually if you press F1 it'll hide those looks like it's pretty nice it's obviously a little off center that corner and that corner not exactly the same 
but I mean this would also work as a runway as well and it defines it a lot better than just having the ground so I mean this is probably the preferred way um, you could potentially do racetrack actually I've not tested that but I suppose yeah see that looks pretty nice for one runway as well you got like the uh, sort of notifications on the side you know to show the plane don't go off this path otherwise you might crash uh, besides that you could do like single white line in the middle obviously you'd want it larger let's make it 15 seem to be a pretty good pretty good size and it would look like that uh, it's not as nice but yeah so probably you'd only want to use the road itself or the racetrack those are probably your best options um, I can't really think of much else obviously be creative while making these um, yeah there's a lot more you could add I mean you could have uh, you could try to substitute a larger building in here this is the only one that says airport so I mean obviously if you find another building it's not gonna say airport but I mean you guys just experiment you could do all sorts of other cool stuff um, in terms of decoration for these maps I mean this is a completely functional one it's not that decorated uh, something you could add is crashed planes there are plenty of plane models to use uh, I think there's three or four uh, five in fact so there's like that's the sandpiper model I think uh, this one which has not been implemented yet hopefully they do add that one uh, we got this one it's, it's kinda weird the wings spawn in the ground um, plane five that one that would be the otter model and that one it's pretty much the same model except its wings are white and the underside is actually no the wings are both white the underside is uh, purple so yeah there's multiple ways you could decorate with these planes um, if your if your uh, place is pretty peaceful you could just straight up have them parked you know you could just have them like they're parked inside the uh, hangar or I've seen a, um, in PEI at least there's at least one plane that is crashed at the end of the runway uh, the only thing about doing that is that you want to be careful not to cut off the takeoff room that you're gonna need in survival so I mean you know with the runway this large you could probably put some obstructions you know on the runway and it probably won't be a problem but if you put it like right in the middle you're not really gonna be able to avoid it that well so I would probably discourage against that of course if you want to make it challenging go ahead but um, you know not necessarily the best strategy if you want to make it easy to take off um, in terms of other decorations uh, obviously PEI there's a military tower in the middle with like a crashed car all this military stuff you could just soup it up with military gear you could do all sorts of stuff but anyway uh, that's generally how you build an airport you know we got a little security we got an entrance we got an airport tower got a hangar got some helipads got some gas obviously got a runway and we got a fence so those are the basics got some prop airplanes you know don't really need much more so anyway guys hope uh, hopefully this video sparked some ideas hopefully you can make your own cool original uh, airplane map anyway thank you guys for watching please like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you all later <laughs>